Hi, and welcome to Now TV. Thanks for tuning in. As you watch my show, <laughs> as you watch me fight for the right to have something this country seems to say we're all about. Freedom. What freedom? I have never had any. For 32 years I have been tormented and tortured. Most of that has been in this town. Most of those assailants have never been arrested or charged. I, I have dreamed about seeing the world the way Madonna did, and all she had to do was catch a greyhound from Chicago to New York with 25 cents and somebody to phone. Now I've had two kids taken from me, which never should have been removed from my care, in order to control or stop or, 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 or to say, um, manipulate how much time of uh, uh, my life would get lost in Canada before I'd finally have the escrow or the freedom to go. Now I'm asking people for help. I'm asking for their support because this is it. I don't want to be raped anymore. I am sick of it. Nobody wants to masturbate by force against their will. Nobody likes that. It doesn't feel good. How dare you throw Muslim spirituality at me because of the people in this town, because the immigrants take over. My mother's not one of them. She's just not right in the head. And no matter how nice she tries to act at the door, no matter what cop comes here, don't be fooled. When you come upstairs, you'll see um, that this is clean. It's not going to get any better than this. How long she goes before she fixes the bathroom, the shower curtain rod, the shower curtain, the fluorescent light bulb, the toilet seat, the sink is beyond me. But I'm long gone. I don't have time to stay for an ex parte order. I know over the border in Ontario, I can put in an intervention order as soon as I'm in Toronto. Now, the chief of police there isn't going to get his package as quickly as you guys are. District 6... Um, and, and, and obviously forwarding it to Chief of Police, Police Keith McCaskill. But I'm trying to clear my name. I'm trying to defend myself. But I'm tired of the abuse. You, you, you can't let some parent, your mother can't manipulate or control your life. Am I supposed to stay in Winnipeg and lose my entire career, my dreams, until she's dead? Oh, okay, you can leave Winnipeg now, and, and by then my youngest will be too old to take to the zoo in Toronto or CN Tower or Niagara Falls because she'll be old enough to know that it's no fun to go now. So I, I can't go and take her out into the world. What if I want to go live in Australia and finish writing a play there for three years? You know, I'm 37. I've already lost 20 years of my life to two men. One of them I didn't even get to marry. The other one abused me for 10 and helped my mom take away the one that I can't take with me, which is why I'm making these videos for you guys, for everybody, because she's going to be up here. Now, I'm trying to give the police instructions. When you come here, you can knock on the door. Make sure your radio is off. My mom's probably not going to hear you. The door's going to be open. Help yourself. If you're in at the evening time, then chances are you'll find my teenager upstairs alone. And it's been that way pretty much the whole seven years. That she has the, the, the guardianship, not the custody, the guardianship. Sole custody was granted to me in the St. Boniface courts before I left to go to Vancouver. And all I was supposed to do was go and get settled and then come back for her. But because I wasn't here, a judge let my mom go stand before him and I didn't get to speak. Because if I had been there, he wouldn't have allowed it. Now, she's had all this time to give it back, but doesn't want to. Because that's the way um, um, the covert incest works. If you've seen the movie um, 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 Sybil or, or watched Flowers in the Attic, and if you haven't watched Flowers in the Attic, go get it, Chief of Police um, 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 Keith McCaskill or, and District 6. Watch it. Um, um, how about um, the one that just recently got, got produced? <sighs> Was it Precious? The real name was by somebody with an S, but um, the black girl who, who had two children by her uh, father who slept with her. Now I've had two children, and both are supposedly now for my mother, even though my children are mine, not hers. Now, my mom's got a bunch of stuff in this children's bedroom, and you guys have got the pictures. You've got the evidence. It's there. Now you're going to see that she's a hoarder and that she just uses the children to, uh, to entertain herself. But when she's done the shopping and she's not interested in them, she goes on with something else. I can't videotape and capture Sarah hiding under the table or behind the curtain. I would if I could. But it's not easy to take this downstairs without having a reason to have it there because it's so big. 
But now that I'm here, I'm around her constantly, so that habit isn't like that. Now, she used to do things where she'd be dumping her bottle on the floor because nobody's paying attention to her. Neglect. But my mom purposely wants to do this. It's purposed in, in her mind. It's intended. Now, I don't want to be arrested or convicted or accused of doing something wrong because I'm fighting to take back my two-year-old after watching the damage it's done to my 15-year-old. I can't tell her to get in the van we're going because she's gotten used to living upstairs in this filth. Now, an, um, um, an intervention order can be done by the Crown, even with me not here, because you has, have the videos to watch. So you can keep up to date on what I'm saying as I have time to upload them. Um, and then you can ask her if she wants a foster home, a group home, or to come to me. She does have summer plans. Now, I don't mind if she goes off to do those summer plans and then comes to Toronto to, to catch up to being with me. But if she wants to finish high school here, which is what my mom's intention mentally was when she took my daughter, well, she wanted her to graduate from the place she went to because I didn't grow up to be like my mom and she wasn't the most important person and I wouldn't drive her around like she's royalty. Whatever it is, it's in her head. But as you talk to her, the police officers that come to the door, whoever you are, um, the chief that watches this, you, you will you will get to notice what my mother's like. She will look through you and around you like, well, I've already gotten away with it for 32 years. It's not like I'm not going to get away with it now. And she'll talk to you in that sort of manner. And she's really good at lying. <laughs> have fun catching her. You have to know how to ask her the right kind of questions. But I'd like to see them come here. Without my mom hearing you guys, come upstairs and you talk to my teenager. And you can ask her the questions. How long has it been like this? I don't know. Since I was seven, as far as I can remember. Till I turned off television for myself. She took herself to school. She learned how to, to eat cinnamon toast crunch. And she doesn't know how to cook. She lost all that mothering. And, and that's part of the, the, the sickness of Flowers in the Attic in the movie. That's the point of why my mother did it and wanted it. I didn't know enough about law like I do now to know that right after the, 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 the guardianship was granted, I should have applied for an, uh, um, an ex parte order um, or um, an intervention so that it would allow me six months to prove myself and get the custody back. Now, I'm leaving because I don't have time, and if I stayed, I'd run out of gas, and I don't even know how far the gas I got is going to get me. I've only got so much money to go, but I have to have a surgery in Toronto, and I have a deadline, and the stuff is there in the package that I sent you guys. Um, I have a night to deliver to a restaurant in New York City. I have t-shirts, and I have promotion for Superwoman that I, I need to go. How many police officers are there at the Winnipeg Police Force? You know, you guys can support what I'm doing, support changing the, 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 the little warriors for big warriors because there needs a lot of intervention, a lot of publicity needs to be talked about it. This doesn't go away. This keeps going all your life until you um, figure out how to break the silence and talk about it until you get it out there. I'm not the only person that's had to live their whole life tormented under the covert incest abuse. There are lots of us. But it's only been a new name since we were kids. But um, bigwarriors.ca. Now, you guys can help by buying T-shirts. Um, 20 bucks a T-shirt for regular sizes, 25 for, uh, for, for extra large sizes or overweight sizes. Um, there are $2 tattoos. There's postcards. And go to the news. I'm giving you permission to. They didn't think I was famous enough living here locally to tell my story about my mom. My mom should have gone to jail when I was five years old. But I'm sick of being raped. I've been raped so much, it's, it's almost becoming more normal to be raped than it is to know what it's like to be with a man and make love. And I'd like to think that in my lifetime, at least one night of my life, I'd know what love feels like, right? On time with somebody. Now, it's, it's sick. Oh, she thinks God's going to love her. Or, or take her side or prefer her or think she's better because she never played with herself. No, 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 my daughter did all that stuff for us both. I don't even masturbate. Oh, no, I don't have sex with men. I just flirt and lead them on so they can buy me stuff. It's all there. Read it. Now, I want a provincial intervention because I don't have the money for um, a civil um, um, uh, restraining order. My 10 minutes up on, oh, I can do, never mind. Um, 
I lost my train of thought. Wait, let's back up. I want a provincial restraining order put in place because it's free. Now, the county can do that without me being here. Now, I wanted a civil restraining order, but I don't have 200 bucks to do that right now. And if I did all that while staying here, I'd never get to Toronto. So I'm gone, and the baby and me are, are, are out there somewhere. Now, I know how to work. I'm almost a police officer. My, you guys could make my life easy. I don't care which province you could make me an honorary cop for a couple of days so I could turn around and arrest my own mom or go and arrest all the other people that raped me in this town that have never been convicted for it. There is no statutory statutation of limits um, um, on charging people with rape, and you don't have to touch somebody to rape them. It is there in our Canadian law books. It's there in our education system. You just got to research it to find it, to, to know. As, as cops, you are, there's only so much you're taught, there's only so much you're aware of. Even crowns are only um, aware of so much. Nobody's perfect, nobody knows it all. <laughs> but I'm, I'm done. Um, when I look at what my 15-year-old is doing and how she's acting, I see that she's saying she loves me because she lost seven years of not knowing what it's like to sit down at the dinner table, read a dictionary uh, every day and pick a word and, and, and know that there's meal on the tables that I've cooked. And then she tells me how, how, how her day at school went. You know, in the seven years my mom had her, she never once cooperated. Not once did she send her to British Columbia, where I'm naturally from. I'm born in Prince Rupert. And, and let me have vacation with her. I had two bedroom apartments almost the entire seven years I lived up there. Now I'd have a house and my finances would be just fine and I'd have my criminology, um, um, advanced criminology degree, my two year post secondary course done if I had not always had to leave my home or my jobs to come here. I get good pay up north. Now I'm going east with the baby because of what happened there has messed things up. So I gotta start all over with the baby out east. Now, before there's no zoos left in Canada anyway, I want to go and see what's left of the one that's there. Niagara Falls and have a good time. I want to sit on my disability and enjoy myself for a little bit because I can, so I can be alone. You know, I have not shopped for Sarah on my own, on my own, my own money, gone and shopped for her yet. You know how horrible it makes me feel to not know what it feels like to have shopped for my child? All the stuff my mom's got here, when you guys show up and after you've watched this, you tell her I said to sell it, and you take that money, and you fix the bathroom, and you fix the sink, because of how long it's already been this way, over a year. Now, the toilet seat wasn't completely broken, and I've tried cleaning it, but nobody ever helps keep it clean, and I have to go, because I'm not from here. This isn't my home, and you can't force me to settle down or stabilize in a place that has violated me. If I could take a bomb to this place, I would. There's been no protection. There's no freedom for me. I want to go live in Australia. Honestly, I'm sick of North America. I, I, 20 years away from my mother isn't enough. And I don't think you guys understand that because you've never been in my situation. Now, I'm asking for your support. If my mom calls you and you guys come to the house uh, without coming to check upstairs on your own first, you tell her. Don't bug us. We've got so much here on you. you we could put you away for, for a good couple of years, lady. Leave your daughter alone. You've got your teenager, uh, your, your teenage granddaughter here. That, that's enough. You know? I mean, now I can have the intervention order in this province without me being here I can have um, um, the restraining order put in place here and then my daughter can be shipped to me or she can choose to say I want to stay and go to school here and live in a foster home in a group I and mean, that's fine and you know what it's way better than this it's way better than what this is you know I want to sue the child and family services people from Winnipeg and Harris that interrupted my life without investigating doing research I'm allowed to get divorced to get away from an abusive person they thought I was crazy for wanting to leave Winnipeg that I had goals of possibly becoming search and rescue or firefighter or, or maybe joining the armed forces I didn't say I was going to I said these are the possibilities um, somebody called the school because my daughter smelled like pee I sent spare change of clothes I bathed her but her behavior, because of the abusive environment of her father being around, she acts weird at school. That's no longer the way she behaves now. So that's kicked in the butt. But she is blowing her honors grades. So she's blowing her chance to go do the Navy. 
because you got to have a high enough grade, and they won't be interested in taking you. Um, she's sleeping at other friends' houses to get around this as much as possible because she said it herself. Nobody can live in this. And I've taken pictures of what it was like when I got here. I, you don't want to know what it was like just before I got here. I don't have pictures of the stairways. I'll leave that for when the police officers come here if they choose to come on their own and come upstairs while my mom's downstairs in the living room and I'm not aware that you guys were even up here. And that is as simple as it is for you to tell a 16-year-old to go with you. Or to send um, 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 somebody to come and take her um, as the Crown puts in the intervention order. I'm gone. <laughs> and the Ontario Police is going to get the same package, and I'm going to do a video for them too. Now, this is Superwoman. And I, I have manuscripts of movies, at least 12. Uh, I'd like to write and produce and, and, and dreams I'd like to succeed, and I'm already late getting out of here. Because I had to keep leaving jobs to come back to my kids to protect them because my mom won't take care of them. That's part of the game. Um, I'd love to see her go to jail. I don't even know how much time she's going to be put in jail for. She, I, I, I'm, I'm beyond words. But I, I'm telling you I'm willing to leave her in under house arrest. But basically she cannot leave Winnipeg. She can never come find me. She can't know where I live. And after six months or, or a year or something, I may send her a postcard with ever telling my address. I'm done. You know, I just, I, I wrote in the letter, maybe I shouldn't have, but I did, that I want to take a two-by-four to the back of her head because after 32 years, I know what she's like and what she's thinking because she's gotten away with it and there's been nobody to protect me or help me. So, um... Yeah, well, th that's my side of it. It's all there. The evidence, the pictures of how they, my my ex husband and my mom both physically hold my daughter. It's there in your in your in your material. <laughs> that's what covert incest looks like. They're physically touching her in the crotch. They're holding her there, manipulating it so this one's ours. Between the two of us, we win. We're gonna take her away from you. Then I gave you guys a Bible story that represents what I did do as the mom that says, No, no, please don't cut the baby in half. It's, it's, it's mine, but give it to her. Now I'm leaving that one here and taking the baby because she's not going to abuse this one. This one's already showing signs at two that are bad. And, I, and I, as I'm around her, she's getting better. I need to go to New York, and then after I go to New York, I need to go to L.A. That's the only place I can go to produce and write my screenplays. I want to go to Nashville to finish my, 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 my biography, the fact that I'm still alive after living through all of this um, abuse. I know um, I'm too, too old to be a cop. In reality, I think the age is 36 or something. You have to do two years in the military to get in after 36. But honorary cop for a couple of days would be really neat. Superwoman wearing, you know, an outfit. I'm already playing clothes in my life of experience and, and my education. I, I don't wear uniforms. <laughs> you know, um, but I like my freedom with the VIP, um, executive protection and stuff, because I can do more. You guys are stuck by Miranda. I'm not. Right? Plus, my first love is my writing and my art. And I've given you guys copies of my CDs as well. But I have job skills. The baby will be fine. I'll be fine. I have more job skills than she does. But this whole game has been about greed. Have you ever watched the movie Seven, The Seven Deadly Sins? Well, my mother's got them. And just watch it. Now, my 15-year-old might be disappointed that I've done this. But I do believe that she's better off in a foster home or group home or coming to me after her summer um, um, holidays are up, then in this. And that's why I said, if my mom wants her back, see, she sells the baby stuff because I want to go shopping for my own child, thanks. Sell that stuff and fix the bathroom and fix the sink. Then somebody has to come here on a regular basis and make sure it's always clean. But I'll leave that up to you guys on this side after talking to the 15-year-old. But my, my, my baby, well... She's not getting that one. She, I just lost seven years with the other one. I'm not losing seven more. She needs to go to L.A. with me. She's got commercials for Johnson & Johnson she can do. She's got TV spots she can do. She's got um, 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 movies she can make with the guy that could have essentially adopted her, which I won't get into here. But um, that's it. Thanks for watching Winnipeg Police District 6, the news. 
Um, go ahead. Spill the beads. Get it out there. Support me. Help me get to where I'm going. Um, I don't know where I'm going to run out of money. I might run out in Thunder Bay. I don't know. Maybe I'll run out in Guelph. But the $2 tattoos, everything can be direct deposited onto uh, the account that I've already put in the information you guys have. I didn't want to leave 500 tattoos here for police to, to purchase and help support because I was worried you guys wouldn't do it. And then I would be out 500 tattoos that I could sell along the way. Because people get excited when they see Superwoman. That's neat. Now I have something to give them. My mom doesn't get it. And if she does get it, she doesn't care. Doesn't want to see me uh, achieve these movies. Achieve this, the publications of my books. Achieve the recording contracts for, for my CDs. <laughs> so I'm asking you guys to help me. And if I get to OPP office um, in Toronto... And you guys are watching this and you think, hey, that's pretty cool. Let's make Superwoman an honorary cop for a couple of days. I'm down with that. I can do that. Can you make me like um, a detective? Or how about a marshal? So that I can just stay plain clothes? I don't have to wear the uniform. Go get me Steven Seagal. He'll, 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 he'll vouch for me. There's tons of stuff he's read and I've sent him to his Facebook page. Anyways, that's me, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I didn't mean to go on so long, but I don't want to write it all out. There's lots to write. There's always stuff to write. So I'm going to just do the videos and hope you guys watch the videos in tune with the material you've got. But there are pictures in that package of stuff. I want to take this two-year-old to where mine went when she was two. So I'm leaving <laughs> on Independence Day. Because I need to get to America, because that's where my life is. That's where the people I need to know and need to be are. <laughs> and you guys in Canada can help me do that. Yes, I went to school in Winnipeg. No, my childhood was not good. Yes, I was abused a lot. But I've survived. And I'm a good person. I don't break the law. I don't lie. I don't cheat. I don't steal. I don't have a criminal record. My fingerprints are in both systems. So you figure it out. Help me out. Support it. Tell them, press, get everybody else. Say, if you see the van, stop her, buy a tattoo. Order your t-shirts, because you'll have the picture of what the shirts look like. And that's it, you guys. Come here to the house quietly. Talk to the teenager. Figure out what to do, then let me know. But that's it. I, 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 I'm, I got stuff to do. I got to go. Keep watching now TV. Keep watching YouTube videos. This is my testimony to the judge uh, in either province, whether it's Ontario or Winnipeg. All you got to do is watch this and then read the evidence that's there. I've given you a statement. It's, it's a lifelong one. <laughs> it, it isn't hard to decide which one to give the custody back to without telling her that you've done it. Because that's what she did to me. Thanks, guys. You know, you leave comments if you've got any questions. Superwoman, peace out.